Hello again and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we're going to be looking at Pikachu uploaded by Patrick Fanart. Let's scroll down and take a look at the designer notes and as we can see there's not too much information on the print settings. But that's more than fine, we can definitely figure that out on our own. So uh, first things first is download all files. Once you do you should get a folder like this containing two SDLs, Pikachu and Pikachu Thicktail. The only difference is that with the Pikachu Thicktail the tail was made a little thicker because some comments complained that the tail kept falling off. But for the purpose of this project, we're going to stick with the regular Pikachu STL. So click and drag and upload it to your uh, software of choice, slicing software, and give it a few seconds to load in. Once the model has finished loading in, you should be greeted by this little Pikachu. So uh, first things first, uh, we'll take a look around the model. And we notice that there's quite a bit of detail, so that's good. And we also know there's quite a bit of red that's showing up. That means that we will need supports. If we take a look at the bottom of the model, we see that there's sufficient uh, surface area touching the build plate. So we really don't need any build plate adhesion. But in case your printer does poorly, you can add it if you need to. So let's take this step by step. First step is the layer height. We're gonna select 0.2 millimeters. Supports, we do need them. So we're gonna click on generate supports. Now, I'll be using a overhang angle of 55 degrees and a support density of only 10 because I want my supports to get removed pretty easily. So I'm lowering that to 10. And I also want to increase my support Z distance to 0 0.26. That's just uh, the distance from the actual support and the model. So that'll just make it a little bit easier to remove. And we should be set on the supports. Build plate adhesion, I don't need any, so I don't have to touch anything. But in case your models don't stick to the bed, you can switch this over from skirt over to brim. And uh, that's basically it. You don't need anything else. So all I have to do now is click on slice and let it uh, render for a little. Once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of six hours and five minutes, as well as an estimated uh, filament usage of 45 grams. So uh, let's hit preview like always and take a look around the model and see if anything is weird or funky. And everything looks pretty clean, pretty smooth. Supports look uh, very rigid, so we shouldn't have an issue with those. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. So all I have to do now is save the file and send it over to the printer. Here you can see the model straight off the build plate. As you can see, a little section of the support actually fell off, but it didn't really affect the model whatsoever. This could be remedied by both lowering the support Z distance and the overhang angle. Here we see the model once the supports have been removed. The model stands at roughly 10 centimeters tall and has no defects. The printing seam, which is the vertical line where the printer changes layers, can be seen in the back of the model. The only rough spots are directly underneath the chin, but those are very light and can be easily removed with sanding. Other than that, the model came out very well with great detail.